to send right now. And it's only until the end of the day today. Now, Stephanie Roberts is making soup. That's right. She is making homemade soup, controlling the ingredients, getting rid of the preservatives, getting rid of all the sodium that comes in the jars. Easy to make, simple, quick, and fast. You can control all your own ingredients. It's got its own heating element. It does all the heavy lifting for you. And this customer pick, internationally recognized brand, gave us a flash sale special. This is a two hundred and fifty dollar suit maker for twenty five dollars on flex pay it's a hundred and fifty dollars off the price has phillips lost their mind i know it's crazy because it's who brand, do you know who it's do you know brand new technology who do you i know, know all the way to the top who do you know oh, i'm not selling my you secrets. know you know philip phillips don't you <laughs> this is a serious yeah, unbelievable absolutely. deal and you can make more than soups in it but what it can do for us homemade soup is amazing. Well, here's the thing. Soup is like a labor of love most of the time, right? Yeah. It's, it's cumbersome. There's a lot of cutting, and then there's chopping, and then there's cooking, and then there's straining, and then there's blending. Philips has made it. So with the touch of a button, I've got six different preset programs that put piping hot soup on the table in as little as 18 minutes. This is so innovative. And Philips, of course, always trying to do things better for us in the kitchen. Here's what I like the best. This butternut squash soup, is clean, meaning ingredient-wise, I know exactly what's in it. This is why we want to make our own soup, because here's the deal. Right here is what is in the butternut squash soup. Kind of what you would expect, right? Butternut squash, scallions, salt, pepper, cinnamon, ginger, and of course the liquid is vegetable broth. Read even an expensive organic cardboard box, high-end can, what have you, of butternut squash soup, and you've got at least 10 ingredients you've never ever heard of because that's what it's like when you buy prepared food look if you take what you put in your body seriously and you know it's inside the cans uh this is a great a great item to buy today this is a deal that goes away come midnight tonight and remember you get 30 days make yep. your own soups in it if you're not happy if you're not pleased if you're not satisfied you can send it back to us there's also all these great settings i, I love the idea of like you know, chunky if I'm making potato soup. Exactly. Or, you know, you can really puree totally smooth for tomato. Like You get to make it however you want. So I want to show you exactly what Philips has done in terms of innovation, because this is probably unlike anything you've really ever seen before. At the top are my six presets. Now, you can see that they've got cute little pictures, which, by the way, corresponds with the recipe book with 38 recipes. That is not an add-on, by the way, Brett, that's in your hand. We don't need another <laughs> item number. That, I know he's reading it. That's He's, okay, though. No, I'm not reading it. I'm making sign language to my producer going, how much is the book? Okay, I'm glad I said it Because it's then. a real book. How much is the book? It's it comes included. with it, yes. And it's still under $100. Exactly. It's a great book. Uh, good. I'm <laughs> glad I caught you guys. I'm happy to be surprising for you. So we've got our buttons here that show you we've got a puree. We've got a chunk. We've got a cream soup. By the way, that's so innovative to me because cream soups cook at a different temperature mm. than other soups yeah. because of the milk scalding. Yeah, okay, yes, this figures it out for you. Yeah. You don't have to know it. It does compotes, oh, cooked fruit with the spices. Mm. Such a great healthy addition for breakfast or dessert. It also does cold soups and smoothies and it has a manual blending function because what you see here is a combination blender and heating element. Now this is where the value gets really exciting to me. There are blenders out there that do soups as well, but not at this price point. So it's a nice little way of getting different things working together. Okay, let's make a recipe together. This one is in the book. Okay. What's the first thing you notice if that I'm putting in? If you don't know what goes in soup, yeah. you get a book. Well, and this is a chicken enchilada soup, but look at the Ooh. meat. It's raw. Real raw chicken. Guess what? You don't have to pre-cook anything. And isn't it nice to know what chicken is going in? I don't know about exactly. you guys, but the uh, cans of chicken, I'm not even convinced it's chicken in those chicken soups. No worries there, you are controlling it. But what do I love so much? I didn't have to cook that chicken. I don't yeah. have to ground my meat before the tacos. Oh, that's I just cool. dump it all in here. So actual hands-on cook time, I don't know, two minutes. Yeah. You know, that's enchilada sauce. Again, this recipe's in there. We put in corn, we put in onions, and then we put in our chicken stock. Now, here's the deal. You have a recipe from mom or grandma that you love, love, love. Make it in here. It works for anything. The only requirement is your liquid on the inside it has to go above a min line because mm -hmm. obviously we need it to boil and cook the foods and it can't go above the max line because we don't want it to overflow. So it'll make That's soup it. for like two to four basically. Yeah I would say three to five. Oh okay. yeah because this is a pretty good those are two hearty bowls we poured there so. This is the difference between a man and a woman. <laughs>
<laughs> and the debate the guy, shall begin. The, the guy says two to four, the woman says three to five, the guy says maybe it's just enough for me. Right? <laughs> That's how that yeah. works. So then we pop the lid on and we are good to go. So all I'm gonna do now is toggle here and choose my function. The enchilada soup is a pureed soup, so I choose that, I push the button, and off I go. Because inside the Philips soup maker, it is going to heat up, it is going to cook. You can see the functions on the side. Those are the six preset programs. And then when it's ready, it is automatically going to blend. So gone are the days where you have to cook meat on the stove, then transfer hot liquid to a blender, blend it up and transfer back. Everything is happening right there inside the Philips soup maker. What I like best of all, 18 minutes. Walk start away to 18 minutes. Walk away 18 minutes and yeah. not five hours. Mm -hmm. You know, same situation with chili here. So we did a chunky soup because you don't want every soup to be smooth. You know, with the chili, you want the meat, you want the beans. So we put the ground turkey in here raw. And I love that because it literally browned the meat. You can see that I've got big chunks of beans in there because that is what I would want in my chili. So again, take your favorite chili recipe and do it in here. And you're gonna skip all those other steps. So I've gotta ask, cause I know it's not like wizard voodoo magic. What is the heating element? How, how does it make it happen? It's a thousand watt heating element that is in here and a stainless steel canister. So it conducts it so all it the way through. So it conducts it. And wow. think about how much more efficient this stainless steel jug is conducting heat than your pot sitting on the and, stove. And your open flame. A exactly. Yeah. So this is even. This is a controlled 1,000 watts. I don't have a worry in the world about my chicken or ground turkey not cooking well because I've got 1,000 watts. So here's the thing. I was reading some of the reviews. That they're, they're rave reviews. You, you'd think this is a clearance price and this thing doesn't work. It works. Yeah. My favorite rev review is from this woman who said, I was an eye roller when I first saw this. I thought, really, do I really need a soup maker? I mean, come on. <laughs> and she goes, and then for some reason, it was, I don't know if it was the price. I don't know if it was the presentation. Kudos to Stephanie. I don't know if it was the delish, but I, I decided I was going to give it a go. And she goes, oh, my goodness. I don't know how I'd lived without this thing at the end of the day. If, if you are using it or you're super excited about this, if you're excited to get rid of the sodiums and the preservatives and get rid of the cans, if you love the idea of homemade chili, homemade tomato soup, homemade fruit compote for you know uh, pancakes and for cheesecake, uh, give us a call, share your excitement, your enthusiasm, but this is the thing you need to know. HSN does a 30 day return policy guarantee and you have only until midnight tonight to get it for over 60% off the price. It is a flash sale that we worked out with Philips to give you the opportunity to own a premium top of the line brand, top of the line new innovative product for the best price you'll find anywhere in America for $25. Get it home, play with it, start using it. See why Philips has this as their newest and latest innovation. I love it because it's different. I love it because it isn't something we've seen before. Yeah. And I love it because it takes something we all really like. I mean, soup is kind of like a warm comfort hug. Yeah. It's great when you're dieting. There's actually a, a thing out there called souping. You've heard of juicing, where we take our veggies, you know, and make cool green drinks. Well, souping is when you take all those veggies and make a good bowl of soup. So you can get healthy foods in your diet, but they make it easy. You know, I don't have hours to wait for something to simmer right. at this point in my life. I just don't. So as a result, I don't eat as much soup as I'd like or do you, what do you pay at the restaurant for a corn chowder? And I want mm. you to see this one because it's beautiful. You'd pay, what, $6 for an appetizer cup? You'd probably pay close to 10 for a big bowl like this. And how many times do you have that cup and go, did I just get fed a can? <laughs> right, what was that right? exactly? What was that, was it any good? Now you can control it. You, you can control how much cream you want in it. If you want cheese in it, how much spice you want in it. I mean, this is just phenomenal. And remember, if you're going, but I don't know, I have absolutely no idea how to make a soup. Well, full color directly from Philips that knows what you're making it in. We're talking over three dozen different recipes. There's corn chowder right there and for you. The one. If you have no idea how to make it. I mean, here's chunky minestrone soup that you can make for yourself. There's a reason we've sold over a thousand of these already. At the end of the day, it's a $250 Phillips, right? The, the creme de la creme when it comes to kitchen appliance brands. Absolutely. It's a $250 Phillips product. 
for under $100 only for today as we launch it here at HSN. And it's not just soup because, you know, this time of year, obviously nothing better than soup, but summer will eventually come right. and we'll be into more chilled things. So we can do the smoothies. We can do the fruit compotes. We can take the fruit of the season. I've got pears here, but peaches will come in. Blueberry season just around the corner. Whatever's in season, then you can make your smoothie and your compote in it as well. Because remember, you're not just getting a thousand watts of a heating element you're getting a thousand watts of a high quality blender. So no matter what I wanna do in here, it's being done right here with the Philips quality, with the Philips engineering. I love taking the fruit, putting it in here, adding a little bit of brown sugar. And again, I can control this. Right. If I want to keep my sugar low, maybe I'm only going to put in half. If I don't want orange juice, I can always use a different juice. I could even use a little bit of water. But the only requirement is, is that your liquid gets above the min line and stays below the max line. Other than that, you have an insulated Something that will cook fruit, that will cook soup, that will chill and do frozen drinks. Mm -hmm. I will tell you the coffee smoothie recipe in that book. Ooh. I highly recommend. It is absolutely phenomenal. And all I'm doing is pushing a button. This is my fruit compote button. In 12 minutes, I have a great healthy topping for ice cream, for yogurt, for French toast, for waffles. The cream soup function with that corn, that's tricky to make on the stove mm -hmm. because you have to constantly worry about the milk scalding. Not in here, all you do is push a button. So Philips has made this goof proof and guaranteed that you control the ingredients. You know, the other thing I think is great too is if for, for somebody who's a vegetarian, mm -hmm. for somebody who's vegan, for somebody who's gluten free, I mean, soup, we don't really control what's in it. Most of the soups are made with a meat base to them. Absolutely. So now if you're vegetarian, if you're vegan, you can actually make soup. You can actually make meals for yourself and control exactly what goes into it and still have it taste incredibly delicious. And the same thing if maybe you have lactose issues, you're yeah. avoiding dairy. Mm -hmm. You know, it's hard to be able to go grab smoothies if you know everything's always gonna be based with milk. Right. I love it that this isn't just soup. I love it that it isn't just hot soup. And by the way, I read a review of a woman who said I made the best almond milk I've ever made in Ooh. my life inside this Philips soup maker. And think about why, because yeah. it's a, a thousand watt high quality blender. Right. And she was able to draw the moisture out of the the almonds. The almonds yeah. Again, the, the sky is the limit for what you do in it when you understand that you've got the ability to cook absolutely anything perfectly balanced and heated consistently because of the stainless steel canister. And of course, that thousand watt blender will give you the consistency as smooth if you want it or as chunky if you don't. So this is a gazpacho. And I have to tell you, this recipe is also in the book. I want you to take just a sniff of the mm. freshness and tell Ooh. me. Can I do better than that? Can I take a <laughs> yes, taste? Yes, you can dig right in. Oh, here Please we go. Do. I love gazpacho. Well, and that's the thing. We're heading to spring. We're heading to summer. You know, let's get our veggies in. Serve this with a side of steamed asparagus, mm. and you've got a wonderful, healthy mm. lunch. Mm. Delicious. Fantastic. And fresh. And really fresh. Really fresh. And totally smooth, too. I mean, really well made here. Mm. Now, why would you mm. maybe not have gazpacho every day for lunch? Because it's effort. Yeah. Because you're like, oh, man, I don't have a time to blend all that and do all of this. Well, now you do. Because, again, all you're going to do is push a button and walk away, and this is going to come to well, fruition. Well, I don't know about you, but for me, soup, soup came off the list because it was too complicated and time-consuming to make it myself. Yes. And the other choices are... Cans. It's basically Gross. salt. Yeah, exactly. Preservatives. Things you salt. don't want. There's a reason that they're in the can. They're supposed to last on the shelf for 15, 20 years. If a food can last 20 years, I won't put it in my body. <laughs> That's a good good way to look at it. Right? This is the way to control the ingredients. This is the way to make something that typically takes hours and hours to prepare done with the touch of a button, done in 18 minutes or less. And suddenly for lunch, you can have gazpacho. The kids may be at school, mm -hmm. you can have a healthy vegetable soup because all you're gonna do is push a button and it's going to do the work for you. You can feel the heat coming off this. And it's this cooking. huge book, this huge book comes along with, it's not just a little like four episode, four recipe little cardlet. Right. This is over three dozen recipes from Philips, full color, all the ingredients that you need. That's a book that as a TV host, I went, how much does this cost? <laughs> What's the other number? They, no, it's included with your purchase. And, and look, Philips is a multinational brand. We didn't make up the price of this product, okay? We didn't just pretend it's $250 to make you think there's a great deal. This is a $250 Philips brand product. In the store, in the mall, yeah. at the specialty cooking stores. Yeah. 
that's what it costs. Here at HSN, it's under $100, only until midnight tonight. And our customers love it. They've made it a customer pick. You can't write a review about a product unless you own it. And if you read those reviews, you'll get on board as well. But it is only until midnight tonight that you get it for under $100. And you still get a 30-day return policy guarantee to try gazpacho or fruit compote or corn chowder or chili. I mean, you name it. There's just so much more that you can do so when options. you get it home and try it out. So uh, give it a go. It's only today. I mean, this is it, right? This You're not is doing it. another presentation. This is presentation. our last scheduled airing. And at midnight, yep. do you know what the price will be? $250. You could buy two and a half for that price, <laughs> as long as you buy now. Always a treat to see you. To see Thank you. you so much.